everyone, welcome back to Infinity Platter. Today I'm going to show you three easy, delicious and healthy drinks and a few health mixes which I've incorporated into my everyday diet. Let's not delay any further, let's get started. So the only thing I'm going to tell you before we start the recipes is that I'm not giving exact measurements because all the recipes I'm showing you today are incredibly versatile and you can make them how you want them. For example, our first juice, the ingredients are ginger, carrot, oranges, honey and cinnamon. I'm using three oranges, but if you don't want to use that much, you can use one or two and then add a little bit of water. If you don't like this much ginger, you can reduce the quantity. If you want it a bit more sweet, you can use more honey. You can do as you like. Let's start now. So first I'm going to juice the oranges, I actually love this process. Next we're going to peel the carrot, and then chop it into tiny pieces. It's not necessary to chop them into tiny pieces but I like to do it because it's easier to blend and then you won't have some carrot chunks at the end. And now I'm just going to take the skin of the ginger. So now it's time to add everything into our blender. I'm going to first add the carrot, then the ginger, orange juice. Then the cinnamon. And last but not the least, the honey. Okay, now let's blitz this baby up. So this is our first juice ready. I love it when you don't measure the ingredients, but it just makes the perfect glass. Okay. Mmm. A little spicy because of the ginger. I get the cinnamon, honey, the vitamin C from the orange, and the carrots. Oh, so so good. You will love this. I feel healthy already. Mmm. I'm going to finish this. And then I'll show you the second recipe. So for our second juice, which is a delicious green juice, these are the ingredients we need. We have spinach, lemon juice, avocado, cucumber, and green apple. Again, this is very versatile. You can actually add some pineapple if you want. You can add some mango if you want. You can remove the lemon juice. You can do as you wish. But this is what I like in my green juice. So we're going to first cut the apple. I'm going to leave the skin on. I just use the full apple because it's like, okay, I get my apple a day dose. So the spinach here, I'm using baby spinach. Here you can eat it raw, but if you're uncomfortable eating it raw, then just blanch it in hot water for about five seconds and then put in ice water. Set. Okay. That's ready. Next, I'm gonna, you don't need to chop the cucumber, it's really soft and has a high water content so it'll blend up well. I'm gonna open up the avocado. I'm just using half an avocado. So I just cut the half like that and then twist it. And then it opens up. How I like to cut my avocado, I just this with the knife and then it's easy to scoop out now let's just fill up our blender and then the apple and the 
lemon juice, cucumber, and the avocado. I'm going to add a little bit of water because this will need some. And now we'll blitz it up. So, my green juice is ready. Let's try it. That's delicious. It's creamy because of the avocado and I don't taste the spinach, so it's a really good way to include your greens. It's nice and zingy because of the tart green apple and lemon juice. If you want some sweetness, then you're more than welcome to add some honey. I'm going to enjoy this and I'll see you for the next recipe. So the third recipe is actually one of my favorite smoothies. It's the berry smoothie. So the ingredients we need are banana, yogurt, blueberries, any non-dairy milk, I'm using almond milk here, and strawberries. So one tip I want to give you when you're making this smoothie, usually I don't use ice in any of my drinks, but on a hot summer day, if I want my smoothie to be nice and cold and extra creamy, I freeze the banana and use frozen banana and it changes the entire texture and makes it so luscious and smooth and you love it. But today, I'm just using the fresh fruit. Next, I'm going to chop up the strawberries. Again, if you want, you can use frozen strawberries as well. First, I'm going to add our almond milk and then the yogurt. And then we'll add our blueberries. Then the strawberries. Let's blitz it up. So, our final smoothie. My favorite. I know it's going to be. Mmm. I have this almost every single day and for good reason because it's really, really yummy. You're going to love this. You're going to love this too. <laughs> So you've seen the three healthy drinks recipes, but if you don't have the time to incorporate all the ingredients into your everyday life, I have just the right products for you. As you know, I've collaborated with Tribe Concepts earlier and I absolutely love their products. They've newly launched their sister company, Tribe Veda, and their products are amazing. They have all kinds of healthy mixes and health teas, and I highly recommend you try it. But today, we're going to talk about the women's health mix. The women's health mix from the Tribe Veda has the goodness of amazing Ayurvedic ingredients like Shatavari, Yashti, Ashoka and many more. This is a product suitable for women of all ages. It helps to combat PCOS, hormonal imbalance, irregular menstruation and cramps. So if you're struggling with any of these issues, this is the perfect product for you. So how I drink it is, I just put a small teaspoon in some warmed hot water and that's how I have it. But if you want to mix it with milk, you can do that as well. Hmm, actually tastes really good. So I've incorporated their health mixes, including this one in my daily routine. I highly recommend you try all their products as well. The product link is in the description box below, so check it out. So that's it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Try and incorporate all kinds of veggies, fruits, spices into your everyday diet or even healthy easy mixes like this that Tribe Veda has to offer. 
have a lovely day and see you next week